Kawam, Kwam Yasala, Kohaloyim La, Yahweh, Bahasim Yahweh, Bahasim Rakahakodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth, and just want to say the water toward the Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh, Bahasim Yahweh, to the best of their ability. This is Yahanan Nawaf just coming at you with another quick lesson. Praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And, um, Wanted to touch on this Psalms chapter 127, verse 1. It says, A song of the of degrees for Solomon, except the Lord Yahweh build the house. They labor in vain that build that build it, except the Lord keep the city, the watchman waketh but in vain. So, in a nutshell, the Lord is in control of all things. And there's nothing that can be built or torn down without him. So you know. When you come into this truth, it's because the Lord wanted you to come into this truth. You know, and the scripture talks about, um, you know, how a man watereth, one watereth and, um, you know, um, or one planteth, one watereth. And the Lord, you know, uh, gets the increase, roughly paraphrasing. That's even the process of the Lord because you can't water without him. You can't plant without him. You can't water without him. So that whole process is even. I wanted to just grab a couple of. Uh, let me see here. A couple of scriptures, a couple of um, precepts as far as that goes. And let's get Psalms 33. And the Lord is in control of all things. We have to keep saying that, have to keep, you know, beating that into the heads of, of the new believers, man, because man's going is of the Lord. Psalms um, 33 and 16, it says, there is no king saved by the multitude of an host. A mighty man is not delivered by much strength, and horses is a vain thing for safety. Neither shall he deliver any by his great strength. So, you got Deuteronomy 32 and 39 where it talks about the Lord kills and he makes alive. He wounds, he heals. Um, he says, there's no God with him, and neither can um, anyone get you out of his hand. So, he's in control of who lives and who dies, who, who, who wins a battle who loses a battle, who wins a basketball game, or who loses a basketball, whatever. You know, the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai is in control of those things. And also, when you go into uh, 1 Samuel, chapter 2 and verse 6, it says, The Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. The Lord maketh poor and maketh rich. He bringeth low and lifteth up. See? He raises up the poor out of the dust. And lifted up the beggar from the dunghill and set them among princes and to make them inherit the throne of glory for the pillars of the earth are the Lord's and he set the world upon them. So the Lord is in control of, of who's where doing what, you know what I'm saying? You can also get an account of that in um, Daniel chapter four. What is it? 17. Yeah. Um, verse 17. It says this matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men and giveth it to whomsoever he will and setteth up over it the basis of men see and that's the reason why right now you know you have um a base people running the entire planet because when you really think about it these people that are in control these damn edomites man they don't know what the hell they're doing they wrecking this place man everybody is miserable nobody is happy you know, the whole thing, you can just, you can, the air smells horrible. A lot of the places you go, you know, the, the food quality, you already know what that's like. Fresh fruits and vegetables, man, is rare unless you, you know, you just somewhere tropical <laughs> where there hasn't been, um you know, tainted by this man, you know. But this so-called white man, man, he's in control and he's the basis of men. And, and the Lord place a base people, a real premature people in power man so let's get another precept though let's go to proverbs just a quick hit man kind of get lessons out of your reading when you're doing your little reading you know what i'm saying you you know things hit you and by the spirit and you just go into it okay this is um proverbs 16 and 9 it says a man's heart divides his his way but the lord's di but the lord yahweh directed his steps see and also the Lord, when you see the um, L-O-R-D in all caps, that means Yahweh, which means that he exists or the existing one, which is just far out, man. You know what I'm saying? 
but that's the true name of the father and the true name of his son is Yahawashai, which means he's the savior or deliverer in the paleo hebrew and only the lord can give you those names he the uh, uh only the lord can give you that gift of faith because there's plenty of people that hear the truth they hear about the israelites but they fight against it and they fight against it because the lord wants them to he he hasn't given them that that he hasn't opened up their 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 um spirit to that he doesn't want them to get it so you're going to have um matter of fact the scripture says that the deceived and the deceiver are his so the people that's deceived the lord got them deceived and there's nothing they can do about it there's nothing none of us can do about our situation you know what i'm saying well, all we can do is just you know hey keep moving pray that yahweh bashim yahweh will have mercy on us um, continue on praying, you know, and just pray that he would not take away his Holy Spirit from us because he can. And you can you can get a great example of that with King Saul. It says the Lord took his spirit away from him and, and, and sent the evil spirit upon Saul. And that's the last thing that we want, man, you know, being in this truth. I, I don't want that. You know what I'm saying? I'm praying that, you know, I'm, I'm always on point with the Lord, you know, by Shimei was shy and that I can make the chariots. And I pray that for, you know, all you brothers and sisters that's listening, you know, but we have to be humble you know and not be proud not be puffed up you know have that contrite and um meek humble spirit because that you know the lord loves that you know and pray to yahweh by shimmy that he will keep you that way that you will constantly have a contrite spirit you know that you can be pleasing to him and um you know have the faith because you know it's impossible to please yahweh without faith as well you have to and matter of fact he's the one that gives you that trust he's the one that gives you that you know again that gift of faith and he gives you that ability to trust in him you know so let's get one more only got a few precepts i'm um you know i'm not gonna keep it long long proverbs 21 verses 30 and 31 30 and 31 verse 30 it says there's no wisdom nor understanding nor counsel against the lord there's nobody out here smarter than the Lord, man. There's nobody out here giving the Lord um, um, advice and giving them counsel, you know. And you have a lot of these people, man, they get out here and they get puffed up and they get in their own intellect. Like, look how smart I am. I read five books a week. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. You know, I'm fasting, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. But it's all on your how about Shimei Washai, man. Because there's going to be people that's going to make the kingdom that's going to come right down to the very last of this thing, man. It's not, you know, it's got you got elders that have been in this truth for like 40 years almost but you're going to have people that's going to come into this truth the week of just before the lord coming down to the you know we don't know down to the minutes that's just going to believe and not have put in no work at all they're just going to be if they're part of the elect they're going to be um you know pulled into them chariots man verse 31 it says the horse is prepared against the day of battle but safety is of the lord so you can prepare all you want. And that's what Esau does too, man. He's a very carnal man. See, he, he believes in his military might. This man actually, see, the Lord has actually placed it on his mind to think that he can defeat the Lord. And they, and they have a space force, man. <laughs> you know how bugged out, you know the Lord is, man, that's how powerful the Lord is, man, when he can bug you out like that. Got these people thinking that they can actually win against them. That they can beat the one that created them. That they can beat the one that, you know, gave him... Gave them, you know, their little wisdom knowledge on, you know, on the left hand side to, to even build the bombs and fighter jets and Navy ships and all that stuff that they have. But see, they, they believe in that stuff and it's not going to get them anywhere. Because the Lord is going to, you know, demolish all that shit like it's nothing, man. Because the Lord is the one that actually gave them what it took to actually build this stuff. And they don't get it because why? The Lord doesn't want them to get it again. The Lord, uh, the, the, the deceived and the deceiver are his. He created both of them. You see? So let's get uh, Ecclesiastes 9 and 1. And I'm at the plantation just trying to, you no, know, 9 and 11. Trying to get something in. Ecclesiastes 9 and 11. It says, I return. And saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, neither, neither yet bread to the wise, nor yet riches 
to men of understanding, nor yet favor to men of skill, but time and chance happening to them all. Who's in control of time? Who's in control of chance? You'll see a person, you'll be like, well, damn, how the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you know, he just balling out of control and he just, he don't even have it like that. He, you know, it's something, you know, he, he you know, the Lord, again, the Lord can, he placed a whole world into the hands of a base animalistic people. You know, you'll see you'll see a person you'd be like, damn, how they get all that? Damn, how they doing that? Damn, what's up? You know, like and you thinking you're doing all the right things. And you might be doing all the right things as far as, you know, from a worldly standpoint. <laughs> but the Lord got them set up and and you know and 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 I have you on the low, have you lowly, man. Which is which is good. You know, you just have to that's why the scriptures talks about being um uh, 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 content, you know, being content with what you have, being content, you know what I'm saying? Just, just be thankful for what you have, because the most important thing, the most powerful thing, the, 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 the riches, the real riches or the real wealth is no, as having this knowledge and truth. It's not about having, um, you know, I'll take this any day and be homeless over, um, being rich and not knowing this truth and shit. Fuck, uh, 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 the status of a Bill Gates or a Jeff Bezos or a damn Rothschild or, you know, because those people are going to be destroyed. They're going to be destroyed. They're going to be slaves in the kingdom. And they, you know, they, they living it up on this side. But that ain't man. Forget this side because this side is temporal. You know what I'm saying? You want the the um, the the the, you know, the unlimited. You know, a uh, 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 long, everlasting life of never dying, um, um, you know, type of um, wealth, man. So let's get one more. Uh, let's see here. Let's get first Corinthians. Yeah, man, let them have it, man. I mean, forget that. Let them have it. First Corinthians three and seven. Yeah, I was mentioning this right here. Um. We start at verse six. It says, I had planted Apollos watered, but Yahweh gave the increase. See? So then neither is he that planteth anything, neither he that watereth, but Yahweh that giveth the increase. So if the Lord wants something to increase, it's gonna increase. If the Lord wants something to decrease, it's gonna decrease. And there's nothing that no one can do about it. Because again, like I said, you know, um, the scripture says that man's going is of the Lord. There's nothing you can do about what's going on today. That's why um, um, Yahweh Shai spoke of, um, what's that, um, one cubic? You can't change nothing about your, your hookup. You might as well just cast your cares onto the Lord. Yeah, that's that Matthew 6 and 27, uh, 7, let me see, 20, let me start at verse... I'll start at verse 26. I mean, it goes off in two it as far as I can start at 25. It says uh, the cure for anxiety. That's that's a uh, that's the title of that um, of this particular uh, start off point here. It says uh, verse 25, Matthew 6 and 25. Therefore, I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what you shall eat or what you shall drink, nor yet for your body, what you shall put on is not the life more than meat and the body than raiment. Behold, the fowls of the air, which are the birds, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? So whether you eaten or not, you know what I'm saying? We read that in, um, you know, pretty much on um, 1 Samuel 2, um, verses 6 and 7, that the Lord, he bringeth down to the grave, he bringeth up, he maketh rich, he maketh poor. So what are you going to do about it? Verse 27, which of you, by taking thought, can add one cubic unto his stature? What you what, what you gonna do? That's where trusting in the Lord comes in. That all you can do is trust in the Lord. You don't know what's gonna happen in the next fifteen to twenty seconds. None of us do. It says, and why take ye thought for raiment? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you that even Solomon, in all his glory, was not arrayed like one of these. So, you know, you can you can look around and see, you know, like just things that's growing. You might take we know we take a lot of, you know, things like that for granted. You might just be walking and it's just, you know, a tree is green or you see yellows, you see purples, you see reds, you see, 
But those things were clothed by the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh And they're clothed beautifully. But you know, like I said again, you know, even bugs or, you know, birds and just, you know, scriptures talks about how, you know, um, um, paying attention to nature, roughly paraphrasing. And you can see the beauty of the Lord, you know, his handiwork. Scriptures talks about his handiwork. You can see his handiwork. That's how a lot of people are going to be destroyed because how can you, you know, the, you know, the Lord got them in a trick bag when they can see all this beauty and just think that it just came out of nowhere on some Big Bang Theory shit, you know, some Darwin Theory or whatever the case may be. They don't believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and the Lord gave them that mindset, which is a, hey, I mean, hey, it's scary, but I mean, hey, the Lord is all powerful, but the Lord gave them that mindset, man. So I'm going to end out there. I just, you know, like I said, I was reading in Psalms, um, you know, well, I like to read it every day. And um, that was just one of the verses that stood out to me, Um, that verse one. Um, let me go back to it. Psalms 1, um, 27 and 1. Because nobody is doing nothing that the Lord don't want done. And nobody is, hey, the Lord is in control. Psalms 127 and 1 again, a song of degrees. For Solomon, except the Lord build the house, the labor is in vain that build it. They labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchmen wake it, but in vain. See? So if the Lord don't want a house built, it's not going to be built. If the Lord don't want a situation to go down, it's not going to go down. You know, the scriptures even talks about um how, um uh, uh you know, um, basically roughly paraphrasing trying to put an enchantment on somebody or trying to put a, a hex or you know these people that be doing all that shit you know and the lord said that there's no enchantment you know or no weapon formed that can prosper if the lord don't want it to prosper it's not going to prosper it's really very simple you know what i'm saying but you got people their heads strong and they really think with their mentality and their intelligence that the lord gave them of course that they can just, they just out here just doing what they want to do. And they, they don't even know what's going to happen in the next hour. That's how you know people don't have free will. Because to have free will, you would have to be all knowing. Because you can make plans to go to Florida if you live in New York. But if the Lord don't want you to make it to Florida, you might get there. You might get started on the journey and he might cut your ass down on a freeway somewhere in a, in a whole nother state before you even get any, anywhere near Florida. You might not even make it out of your driveway. You might not even is, is in control of all things. And that's a, um, it should give you encouragement or it should give you faith and hope. And, 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 and you should trust more in the Lord by hearing scriptures like that, because it's nothing you can do. It's out of your power. It's out of your control. So that where that, that's why that scripture says it says um, anxiety. I, I was speaking on that earlier this week, that spirit of anxiety. You know, people worrying about stuff, you worrying about shit. There's nothing you can do about it. You just pray to the Lord. You have, um, um, you know, trust in him and let him handle. You pray to the Lord, trust in him and let him handle. That's it. So I'm going to end off there. I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashallah.